You are refusing to leave the house? These were the scenes that played out during the State of the Nation address as the Speaker called on the Parliamentary Protection Services and later Security Services to eject EFF MPs. But the EFF says the security services were already inside the house before they got permission from the speaker. The party argues that this was unconstitutional. Only parliamentary protection services will deal with conduct of members in the chamber and not security services as defined by section 199 of the constitution. We made these changes to the rules because to allow uh, defense force, police service, and any intelligence into parliament chambers will grossly render section 58 of the constitution null and void. Malema says his party will lodge a complaint with the rules committee against the speaker, as well as table a motion of no confidence against her. The speaker will get uh, uh, 48 hours upon receiving our letter to publicly withdraw and apologize and she should do so with the protection services by distancing themselves from the act of the security services and they should do so in a form of a press conference um, failure to do so within 48 hours will approach the constitutional court directly mapisa ngakula has indicated that she will investigate i ask people politely to leave the house and instead of leaving the house they climb the stage it immediately threatens the security of the principal political parties expressed mixed reaction to the use of security forces madam speaker there, there at that stage of the security services rushed in there was at that stage no threat to life or limb furthermore they can only enter the chamber upon your invitation. The EFF made a mistake to get onto this stage and make a threat to the president. I want to congratulate the presidential guard for what they did. You did say that you will investigate this matter, look at Hansard and everything else, and I think we should leave it at that. The EFF maintains that it did not go overboard by climbing to the stage to protest, nor did it pose any physical threat to the president. The party claims that parliament is the only place that the president requires no protection. Ulelani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.